East versus West has been a huge debate among nerds for a long time. And now, it's time to discuss that debate, but this time, it's Eastern Comics versus Western Comics. Now join me, here, on Comic Universe. What's up guys, it's Jay here from Mr. J's Reviews for the Comic Universe. Welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. I'm Dr. J, I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know, printed it out myself. Welcome to another episode of Topic Tuesday, you guys, the weekly segment where we take a topic that we're all interested in, or at least, you know, the host is particularly interested in, and we ask you, in the universe, your take on this particular topic. So this is honestly something I've been thinking about for a while now, and I've been wanting to talk about it for a bit. So if you guys know me and you've followed me for a while, you know back in the day I started out as a comic reviewer. I was Mr. J's Comic Reviews way back when I first started my channel all the way up until maybe two years ago, maybe two, three years ago. But you know, recently, not only have I more dived into TV reviewing, but I've also not read a Marvel or DC comic in at least two years. I know, big shocker. I'm still a hardcore comic fan, believe that, trust me, but there's just something about the big two. Like, I still read a lot of image books. I read a lot of those monthly. But I'm kind of burnt out on Marvel and DC. And I feel like every comic fan at some point in their life goes through this. I know my dad went through it. My uncles went through it. So, like, it's definitely kind of the life cycle of a fan. And, you know, a lot of people grow out of comic books. And I'm not saying I'm done with comic books. This isn't me, like making a video renouncing comics or whatever i would never do that like there's such a big part of my life there's no way i could say that i'm gonna give up on comics but i do want to bring up the discussion of why i have started to more be fully immersed in manga instead of the regular traditional american comic books that I've read ever since I was a child. So I discovered manga in middle school. So probably around like 2006, 2005, 2006, around that time period, right? So I've always been a huge anime fan. And so I always thought that just like with like Disney cartoons, that anime was just stuff that Japanese people like created like it was just the cartoon I didn't know there was like a, a source material behind it and then I discovered manga and then obviously the first one I checked out was Dragon Ball because Dragon Ball Z was the shit it still is the shit but then I got into stuff like Naruto Bleach One Piece uh, Soul Eater Fruit Basket, yes, Fruit Basket. I like Shoujo too. So, I really got into manga. And it wasn't until recently that I started to really realize why I prefer manga over comics in a lot of different regards. And it's because, well, manga and American comics are very similar. Obviously, they're both comic books. You know, one's just Japanese, the other is American. But, structure-wise, they're also very different. Not just the whole black and white thing, although I prefer that too sometimes, because like, I think the cool thing about having the art in black and white is you get to like, imagine your own colors. I mean, granted, like, the author has their own design and they, they, they basically give you the color covers from like, the colored pages and the cover art. But like, for the most part, when you read a manga, it's really up to your imagination when you, like, read it and kind of experience it in your head. Now, obviously, the same goes for comic books as well. Like, you hear certain voices when you read for certain characters, especially, like, if a certain animated series voice is, 
like definitively the voice in your head for a character like you know Kevin Conroy's Batman or Mark Hamill's Joker so on and so forth but with manga right I think the thing that really makes me like manga more than western comics at least at the moment is consistency for the most part right so the thing that I am sick and tired of with western comics is event after event after event and nothing sticking nothing changes there's no progression we always just get set back to the status quo and it just feels like all your investment in a character is kind of meaningless you know what I'm saying it doesn't make you value the character any less especially if the character has had a significant impact on your life like let's say spider-man and batman for me in particular that doesn't undervalue any of the spider-man and batman stories that i've read right or any of the x-men stuff i've read or i'm pretty sure you can see part of my shelf here that's not obscured by a glare like alias or grant morrison's x-men or jeff john's teen titans just because you know a lot of that stuff was retconned away doesn't mean that that story doesn't impact me the same way it did when I was younger. I still enjoy it, and it's still some of my favorite stuff. However, with manga, for the most part, yes, some long-running stuff like Dragon Ball has its retcons. All series have their retcons. I mean, that's kind of just a staple of comic books in general. But for the most part, Mangas like to move forward, right? They don't just keep their protagonists in the same position. And I know before any of you say it, yes, Detective Conan is still going and it still has Jimmy Kudo in the same position he was in pretty much from the jump. But now he can like temporarily transform into adult. But like for the most part, mangas move forward and also they end. They have endings. And I'm not saying I want Spider-Man to end, right? But I think Peter should have a definitive story where he is done. And I think that's the difference between manga and comic books, right? Comic books, these are characters that they don't want to get rid of because there's such a brand attached to them and they have such hardcore fan attachment. I mean, look at Goku, it's kind of similar in that regard with the whole making him main character and all that but like I don't know <sighs> it's just frustrating at times man like I want a fulfilling story you know when stuff like death of Wolverine happened and Wolverine died and Laura took over as Wolverine that felt satisfying it was literally retconned away, like, two years later. Whatever. Right? When Dick Grayson finally became Batman, and he took Damian Wayne under his wing as his Robin, and he was finally kind of living up to that legacy after all that stuff with Battle for the Cowl and all that, retconned away not even a year after. <laughs> God, it's so frustrating. And, like, with manga, some of them are long-running, yes. Some of them keep going, and some of them keep spinning their wheels. But for the most part, you know there is going to be an end, and there is going to be a satisfying conclusion. And even if the conclusion isn't satisfying, at least it has an ending. And even stuff like One Piece that is long-running and, you know, has been going for, like, 20 years... It's still Oda. It still feels the same. It has the same vibe to it. And you know there is an end goal here. Like, that's another thing with comic books in America, right? Like Marvel and DC stuff. There are definitely several iconic runs. I pointed out Grant Morrison's X-Men. You know, Claremont and Lee's X-Men. You know, um, Jeff Johns' Teen Titans stuff like that but the thing about american comics is you know after a set amount of issues they change authors and they basically kind of start from scratch 
or like sometimes an author will pick up from where another author left off and just completely forget about it like that's something I really can't stand about comic books at least American comic books the fact that there is so much just overlapping crap and there isn't nearly as much consistency as manga has you know you don't see you know Kohei Horikoshi dropping My Hero Academia after a few volumes and then letting somebody else write My Hero Academia and then somebody else writes My Hero Academia no it's a superhero story that continues it keeps going has an end goal has the same kind of great characters and it has the same sort of sensibilities as a western comic which is why I love My Hero Academia so much because it gives me everything that I love about American comics like Marvel and DC stuff but at the same time it gives me that consistency and kind of stability that manga has and that's what I'm trying to say right like it's not that I hate comic books or American comic books it's just that I think manga is a much more stable comic medium and you know you can bring up the exceptions like Hunter Hunter which constantly goes on hiatus or berserk or stuff like that but for the most part manga is much more stable and consistent than American comics and that's why I prefer it you know that's what I really wanted to talk about so I leave that question out to you universe are you more of a manga fan or you know do you prefer American comics or were you just thrown off by manga and could never get into it because you had to read backwards and that's hard to adjust to? Because I feel that, you know, when I first started getting into manga, I had trouble with that as well. But let me know. And if you are a manga fan, definitely, uh, if you got any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. And who knows, maybe if we get enough recommendations for stuff and you guys are into it enough, I might cover some manga. Maybe do chapter reviews. Because, you know, a, a manga chapter is basically the same length as a regular issue of a comic book. So, if you guys want me to do manga reviews and you guys are interested in hearing my takes on that, I'll definitely give it a shot. But, that'll be up to you. So, in the outro card, I will leave linked a video YouTube mysterious algorithm, things you might like, which I hope you do. As well as... A video our latest upload from DPZ so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the universe today to become one of Earth's mightiest subscribers and don't forget to hulk smash that like button as well and remember the notification bell helps us out a lot so that way you know whenever myself DPZ or C dubs uploads a new video so this has been topic Tuesday and I've been Jay from Mr. Day's Reviews for the comic universe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe peace <laughs>